We're back. This is part two. Had just a couple quick hours to get these guttles on, just the first tube. It's a bit of a chore, but straighten those sidewalls right out. Gave it that shape, it kind of pushes the bow out just a little bit, gives them a natural curve. Get back at it tomorrow, get the front tied up in that back corner. We'll finish it off just like that, little angle back and down. And then this will get covered because we had to cut around the transom. This will get covered with a nice corner cap, corner gusset, and that helps strengthen up the transom too. We left off, we got this tube in, I've got some tigging to do, and then we'll probably just sand this. The top's gonna get covered straight across with a plate, probably some diamond plate that'll hold the trolling motor and the anchor winch. And then we came in this morning, and the big thing that I wanted to do on this boat is make sure that I stiffen to the side. So we use these tackle trays. This is a eight and a half inch with a one inch lip. We'll put some trim on top and a six and a half inch. So they end up pretty close to in line. The bottom sticks out a little bit, which will actually make it easier to get your rods in and out of. But if you look at the sidewall, it really shored this up nicely to make sure that we don't get any heat warp as I weld. So my next step, you see all the tacks in here everywhere. I need to turn most of those into full welds. Got to weld the, all of the corners, the inside corners, the middle line where the two sheets come together. We're gonna to full weld all that on the inside with the MIG, moves a little faster and then I'll TIG it from the outside. But I also have to sure all of the stringers down, all of the bulkheads down, then I can get to where I'm able to put the floor in. We're gonna do a two by two uh, angle in the corner and the floor, what the floor is gonna actually screw into will run across and that'll create a grid out of tube every 12 inches. That'll create a grid to actually mount the floor to. Pretty exciting. When that happens, then this boat's really close. So let's keep going. A lot of welding to do today. And then we get to the fun stuff. Do you wear your Skechers when you weld? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm, get, I'm getting some new welding boots, I think pretty soon here. Oh. Brunt, Brunt reached out and said, we want you to test out a pair of our boots. And I said, I trash everything. So I'd love to try them. Not on purpose, it's just what I do. I've been putting in some really long days of welding. Everything on the floor is welded. I've got a couple big knee braces in the back. Got to finish welding those in. The gun was getting kind of hot yesterday, uh, but those are going to help obviously with supporting the 400 pound motor that's going on the back. Tied down in. I think the transom is 
plenty sturdy. We'll also gusset the top corners. Just a little added protection there too. I think I've gone through somewhere around like six or seven pounds of spool. So inside's all welded. What I've got to do now, who I will say, putting the tackle trays in, just tacking them. I know they're a little wonky right now, but we'll level them all out. They're level against the sidewall. They're just risen in the middle a little bit. But that kept the sidewalls really nice and straight. No warp or anything with that, so really happy. Uh, and that'll even play in more when I weld this corner brace in. So that's what the floor is gonna rest on. Pretty critical piece right there. And then all these pieces up front, you see we cut slits in them and that allows them to twist and bend into place for the hole, uh, for the bow to actually stiffen everything up. A, lot, a little bit of extra work, but it'll be worth it because that's a critical part of this boat. I'm gonna get back to welding. We'll get you back on time-lapse and keep this project moving along. Remember, we're doing this style of rail for the sidewalls, for the gunnel. So I'm gonna show you what I did on the big boat to get set up because last time I had to make the cut as perfect as possible to run this all the way back to the transom. You can see it's just goop welded there. And then just fit up in the front with a little nicer weld, but still not perfect. So what I did is something different I'm excited about on the big boat. Let's go look. I took, this is one, in, uh, one inch by two inch piece, roughly two inches, I just cut it as scrap, but I took this one inch piece and I mocked it up to, and I cut the angle of the tube, you can see it's cut at an angle there, and that lined up here, and what it's going to do is allow the tube to slide through, still get my one inch spacer in here, we'll do those every, they'll be actually spaced apart every 10 inches, but the cool part here is I can get my tube cut roughly to size, leave myself a few extra inches. And that way I can pull it back snug to the transom, weld it into the transom. Then I can work from the back to the front, welding in uh, my tube to these little spacers. So what I do first is I go from the back, I make a mark every 12 inches. And what I do is put the, the back of this on the mark get it as centered halfway as possible. And I tack it in with my MIG just on the corners. Then we'll go and run the tube, clamp the tube to here on the outside, tack those corners. We'll get them all tacked in and lay in some nice looking bead uh, for that. So that's how I'm doing the gunnel, little chunks, the double tube, and that right now, can't really see it, Right now, there's a bit of play in the sidewall. That will be gone as soon as I get this double rail in. And then, once the double rail's in, I can move on to getting that front deck, that cover made. I gotta add some framework to that because we put an anchor winch up there. The trolling motor will be in the front too. And then I gotta decide where the front deck is gonna start. And I gotta lay all of these, those, that's one and a quarter inch tube. I just had a whole bunch of it, had to buy it in bulk for a pontoon project, but that's what's gonna give us our flat floor. So it rests and will be welded to those outside corner pieces. That's just angle aluminum. And then the floor every 12 inches will run one of these. And then I will run, maybe not every 12 inches, maybe 16 inches, I'll run connecting. So it's gonna end up being a big grid all the way from the front deck, just in front of the front deck, back. Because in front of the front deck, say the front deck was here, I need a little area for storage and primarily for my batteries for the trolling motor. So that's what we're gonna do. I think it's gonna end up being about, probably a six foot front deck. So somewhere in here is where it'll come up and it's probably gonna be about 16 inches tall. We'll run it across. We'll get all these covered up by that deck. A lot of work. I'm gonna keep welding. That's the update where we're at.
And there is the look. Both sides are tacked in. Now I'm gonna run my TIG and make these look pretty. Like I said, it's just a quick tack, get it together, and then get in there hot with the TIG and we'll lay a nice little bead on each side. I've been pretty much just running my spool gun for the last three days, so this will be a nice break. Get in there, get in my flow state with the TIG torch. Here we are to this point and now it's on to weekends and after hour kind of stuff. Today's Sunday, I'm um, gonna just put in a few hours, try to get the floor started so I can get the front deck, this part up here, get that where I want it. And then I'm gonna have to work that into the sidewalls and stuff. It's a, it's a bit of a bugger, but I think we can get it done and that's gonna give the strength uh, to resist twisting and stuff significantly so that we can flip this thing because I got to weld all of the outside seams. I got to TIG all of that. I'm going to get to work on the floor. Lots of cutting, getting them tacked in. So I'll flip the camera around here and just show you what that's going to look like in a second. So the floor supports are one and a quarter inch tube, eighth inch wall, pretty heavy stuff. Uh, that way it's going to stay nice and low profile. I don't want the floor to climb way up the sidewalls. But essentially I'll have to cut them to the sidewall, which are all a little different. And then we'll have to add brackets to support the floor. Because if I step on that right now, it's going to sag an inch or so. So we'll add some supports in the middle, a couple supports on the outside where it's lifted. And obviously this being a steeper V in front is going to have... Uh, taller supports as we get to the back they're only needing about an inch of tube underneath there I'm gonna get right to work here I got these stringers Full welded so that's just that extra protection for the bow it's not going anywhere now really tied in tight and the big thing for today was getting those floor braces in straight across and I just looking at them I think what I'm gonna do is run a 25 inch piece of tube across and that's gonna support it and then I don't have to do little tubes up and it'll actually tie into each of the cross members. So one, two, three, four, those four middle ones, really gonna beef it up and it's gonna help tie in just structurally too. Pretty excited about that. That'll be the next thing I do. That's where she's at. A lot of work, a lot of welding today, a lot of cutting, but I'm happy with where we're at. I did add the one more down low just to beef up just that impact point if you are to hit something I'd rather bounce off of it than let it dent us I think this will help with the visual that is going to be the front step it's a little over 13 inches tall once we get the floor on there, it'll be a little shorter, but that will now build out to the front deck. So we'll do a series of supports out, support them vertically, and that will be our front deck. So that's coming right together. I'll probably end up, I'm still debating on the gas tank. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of frame work in here, maybe extend something forward a little bit to make more of a platform. And we'll put a sheet of aluminum across there to support the batteries, 
two batteries on this side and then the gas tank on this side. Next step is getting my floor supports in on all of the stringers or the floor stringers, I guess you call them, to sure those up and then I'll be able to walk on them and everything will be solid because right now they flex if I step on the wrong ones in the middle. So I'm gonna make those all shirt up. Then the floor framing is completely done. Then I can move on to finishing out the tackle trays, this front deck, the front platform. It's getting real close. But I do got a shout out to Brunt Workwear. Just got these boots from them. Super comfortable. I put them on day one with short socks, no joke. And they're super comfortable, no chafing, no blisters. I can move around, I can walk gingerly. I've tigged in them so I can run my foot pedal. It's another Sunday, which means, well, I wanted to get more time, but it's already 3.30 and I gotta head out in about an hour. Gotta get what I can done. I have all my pieces, my floor supports cut. There's actually two on this because this is that front deck and I want to make sure that when people are stepping up and down on it, there's lots of support there. It's got the tube. It's got one by three rectangle tube across. It's going to have a ton of structure going this way. So I'm going to go ahead and run in. I've got them all cut. They're laying in there. I'm going to weld those up so we have that center support for the floor. And that way the floor is done. And we can get to flipping this boat in a couple days. Sort of lucky and unlucky. I've got all the rest of this week, it's Tuesday, to weld. So I'm gonna get the transom full welded on the outside. Probably do a little bit of front welding on the bow where it's easy to get at. I've got the boat up right now as the train goes by. So get this transom welded and then hopefully tomorrow we'll flip it. And then I'm just gonna hammer down as much as I can and weld the outside seams and the middle seam. actually went a lot better than expected so that's always a good thing the five of us were able to just kind of lift it up we had the forklift there in case we needed it but it really wasn't too bad once we started tipping it over we were able to catch it and lay it on down so it's on casters now I can move it around and I got to get to TIG welding so I've got everything clean I actually ended up just wiping down the whole boat but I sanded everything wire wheeled everything acetoned everything now I'm ready to lay some TIG in so for the next day, it's the 16th of August, it's about 12.30. I'm gonna get as far as I can today without melting my TIG torch and just keep laying in weld and sealing this thing up so it's watertight.
this is gonna wrap up part two of this giant custom welded boat build. We got the runners on the bottom. We're gonna go through, we went through with a magnifying glass, found any potential little pinholes, anything like that. I'm gonna go through and TIG those up. But we're ready to water test this. You'll see that in the next part. It is August 6th, 17th. 16th or 17th today. 17th. So if you've been watching, you know that I have until September 15th, really September 8th or 9th, because we've got customers boats coming in to get this completely finished inside and out for our trip up north, salmon fishing. Stay tuned to see if we make that. Big shout out to Brunt Boots. So they do all sorts of workwear, but these things, I have really put them to the test. I put my foot against the metal that I'm welding and hit it. They have been awesome. There is a $10 coupon code in the description of this video. So if you're in need of new work boots, I love them. I'll keep you updated on how they hold up. We're working with a product developer right now for boots for our boss. Right, Riv. You need shop boots? Yeah, I need yeah. boots. I need boots for my paws. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.